It's common knowledge that most crimes are stupid to commit in the first place, but at least you can appreciate the effort that goes into some of them. Then there's these people who not only committed crimes, but did it in such a stupid way that you can only really laugh at them. In most of these cases, the criminal in question essentially got themselves arrested, usually not because they were committing the crime, but because they do something so stupid in the process of committing that crime that they essentially did the police's job for them. So I've compiled a list of just that. So sit back, relax, grab a banana, and join me for the 10 stupidest criminals in history. Number 10 is Jeff Waters. Jeff Waters wanted to get some money to start an Italian restaurant. In fact, he wanted it to be the greatest Italian restaurant on earth. So much so that it would be 80 million square feet and it would be able to accommodate 30 million customers at once. Well, that is ambitious, but how is he gonna pull it off? Easy. Jeff Waters decided to go to a local Bank of America where he tried to cash in a check for $368 billion. Seems legit. For some bizarre reason, the bank didn't actually have almost half a trillion dollars in the building, and they were also a tad bit suspicious about this check. So they called the police, and it turns out that the check was fake. What? Are you serious? No. Apparently, Jeff had purchased the check off a homeless man for $100, and he had stated that it could be cashed for any amount of money. Unfortunately for Jeff, this was unsuccessful, and he was later arrested. Number 9 is Nicasia James. Nicasia James seemed pretty confident that she was going to get caught for the crime that she had committed, but solidified that when she confessed on Facebook. She made this post, which essentially said that after her and her boyfriend had gotten into a dispute, she stabbed and killed him. After she left her house, her boyfriend managed to stay alive long enough to call the police and tell them what she had done. By the time the police arrived, he was already dead. Acacia was later found and arrested, and this Facebook post was used as a crucial piece of evidence in her conviction. Number 8 is Douglas Wolliver. Douglas Wolliver from Sydney, Ohio was breaking into a house by smashing a window. While he was doing this, he made a call. Sorry, he didn't necessarily make a call himself, but his phone was in his back pocket and his ass did the rest of the work by accidentally dialing and calling a number. What number was this? You guessed it, 911. Ooh, I love this story. The 911 operator suspected something strange by the noises they could hear in the background of the call and sent someone to check it out. When the police got there, they noticed a break in and went into the house to try and find the suspect. In all this time, Douglas hadn't left and he began hiding in the house when he noticed them come in. The police didn't even have a hard time finding him because his phone's battery was low and it began beeping. They followed the noise, found Douglas, and arrested him. Your phone is not a fan of you, man. Number 7 is Cameron Pittman. Cameron Pittman had successfully robbed a convenience store in the past and decided to try his luck for a second time. On this occasion, Pittman walked into a convenience store with a PlayStation controller in his pocket and tried to convince the cashier that it was a gun. Whether the cashier believed that it was or not is something that remains unclear, but at that moment, a police officer walked in and arrested him. Maybe Cameron could have pulled it off, we'll never know, but either way, the police had it under control. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Get it? Because he had a controller, so it's like a pun or something? Ah. Number 6 is Matthew McNelly and Joey Miller. Usually, when criminals are committing a robbery, they tend to wear a mask in order to conceal their identity. These two guys kind of did that when they were robbing an apartment, but they didn't really wear masks, they kind of just colored their faces with permanent marker. They were drunk at the time, but honestly, that still doesn't excuse it. I mean, this, this is a bit ridiculous, right? Come on. They were later arrested, and it wasn't that difficult to find them because they were driving around drunk wearing permanent marker on their faces. Good job, lads. Well done. You've really earned it. Well, well done. Number 5 is the unconventional weapon. This one's very strange, not only because of how the crime was committed, but also because the person who committed the crime got away with it. So this guy here walks into a convenience store with the intention to rob it. However, he doesn't have a weapon on him, so what does he do? He gets his weapon there and then. He picks up a banana, puts it in his pocket, and walks up to the cashier. The cashier thinks it's a gun and hands the man the money. He leaves and actually gets away with it. Really? Really? That dude looked like he decided to rob the place 8 seconds before he actually did and he's the only person on this list who didn't get caught. He's the exception to the rule? Really? Him? Really? 
We're gonna, yeah, really, yeah, really? Never mind, never mind, moving on. Number four is Maria Garcia and Domingo Hernandez. These two guys went into a restaurant with a water pistol and attempted to rob it. Now that seems like the punchline, but believe me it isn't because they actually managed to successfully rob the place but were pretty polite about it. The owner of the restaurant asked them to come back in an hour for some reason or another. The owner probably said something like, hey my boys, I'll give you more cash money if you come back in an hour, but who would believe that? Well, them apparently, because they came back an hour later with their water pistols and of course the police were there waiting and they got arrested. Number three is John Mogan and Ashley DeBow. In September of 2015, John Mogan posted this picture to his Facebook page. While it looks like he's just bragging about the money that he made from work, eh, not so much. It was later revealed that himself and his girlfriend had robbed a bank in order to obtain that money. Mogan had a prior conviction for a robbery he had committed, so take that and the series of pictures he's in with a stack of money and bam, you've got a pretty decent suspect on your hands. Well, it turns out the couple ended up being guilty and they were arrested. Number two is Ruben Zarati. 18 year old Ruben Zarati went into a muffler shop in Chicago with a gun and demanded money from the store's employees. All right, good start Ruben. As far as crimes go, this isn't too stupid so far. I mean, a muffler shop is a bit strange, not gonna lie to you, but at least you're not going in there with a banana. So what was stupid about this crime? Well, the employees told Ruben that all the money was in a safe and only the manager had access to it. However, he wasn't there. So they told Ruben to come back in an hour and the manager would be there to give him the money. And Ruben actually came back. Ruben, you were doing so well, buddy. Come on, you let me down on this one. Of course, the police were there by the time he had returned. They engaged in a brief shootout and Ruben was eventually apprehended. Number one is Trevor Jones. In 2011, Trevor Jones had broken into a house with the intention to rob it. He parked his getaway vehicle outside of the house and eventually the owner of the home came back and noticed the car because it was on and the keys were still in it. The owner went into the car, turned it off and took the keys out as she suspected something suspicious was going on. Jones noticed that she had returned and also noticed his getaway vehicle was unusable, so he ran like the wind and jumped into a small lake. The owner entered her house and noticed her laptop was on and I swear, I cannot make this up, this is legit, Trevor had left his Facebook logged in. Wow. The police were easily able to catch him that night because they knew his identity and of course he was soaking wet because he jumped into a lake for some reason. He was later arrested and convicted for his crimes. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to hit that like button. Also you can subscribe for similar top 10s in the future, but I hope you enjoyed your banana and as always until next time. <laughs>